Good afternoon, good afternoon. I hope you're all excited. Big smiles here today, so much going on. Uh, I've just been reading through all your comments. I do apologise, we're a little bit late. We had a large delivery, knock at our door a couple of minutes before we were due to go live. And as you know, there is only us in the building. So thank you for your patience on that one. Welcome to all the regular faces, Tracy, Helen, Karen, Enid. Welcome guys. And if there are new faces, please let us know if you are tuning in for the first time. It's a lovely place to come, get some inspiration. And it's just that big turning circle. I do something that I've seen maybe from somebody else. You then take it, change it, and we all just deliver to each other a smiley face when we make something that's gonna make somebody else smile. It's fabulous. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you are on Facebook, I do post the makes after the live show, which gives you an opportunity to be in with a chance to win the cards we make. Sometimes you might get the stamp and the die in there also. So it's all good stuff. If you have never met me, my name is Tony Darrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft and I just love craft, whether it be stamping, die cutting, pens, pencils, watercolouring, uh, just anything. I just absolutely love it. So as you all know, a couple of things to tell you about. Today we are launching the second stamp in our Craft Academy. The first stamp has gone today. So you should all have it for Friday, which is so exciting. It gave us great pleasure packing those stamps to you all today because it means a lot to me knowing you're all going to get them and you're all going to put them on your craft desk and you're all going to work with them in your homes along with me. It just fills me with joy. It's just amazing. So packing those today has put a really big smile on our faces today. So the second one we are showing you today and if you obviously purchase it, we will send it out tomorrow. But don't forget, um, there is no um, like program where you have to commit. If you want to go and get the stairs on week five, or you want to get this stamp on week nine, you can go back and revisit. The videos never go away. The tuition is always there over on YouTube also. So it's just a good place, is it? Just great. Full stop. There are no um, cons, pros and cons. It's all pros at Stamps By Me. That's what I'm saying. I'm a pro and you're a pro. So welcome everybody. So I'm going to show you the lovely stamp that we're launching today. You will have had a newsletter, most of you. A lot of you have already bought it. They are a limited edition. Once they're gone, they're gone. Once the 12-week program's done, it's done. Albeit you will be able to watch the tuition at any point. It is the program and um, it's something that we're going to do in summer and we've brought forward for you. So this is stamp number two. I have got some finished samples to show you also. Before I show you the stamp though, I would just like to tell you, tomorrow I do have my four day deal over on Create and Craft and um, the products are already on there. What I would say to you though, is I'm gonna use some of the products in show today, I'm gonna to do a demo with them. What I would say to you though is, wait if you are wanting to buy any of the products please wait till the live hour because so many people are getting caught out and getting charged more money the price comes down in the live hour so if you have the patience to wait please do so because the price sometimes halves than what it is on now so excuse me so uh, if you are wanting to tune in and you do have something you like and want wait till the live hour otherwise trying to get a refund later down the line is going to be proved quite difficult so hello everybody hi linda jeanette enid janice helen heather there's a lot of people on today <laughs> are you all waiting to see what i've done with this stamp right okay so tomorrow four day deal go and pop it on your planner make sure you press record because i don't think the catch-up is still available as of yet so this is a lovely stamp i'm sorry it's well loved this is my stamp and I have um, been playing with it. So basically, you are my adventure and the stamp is called My Adventure. And it's a set of trees on a pathway. Now, I know if you're anything like me, you'll be buying your flowers and you'll be buying things like that. But these stamps really lend themselves into painting and making you step outside your box, doing masculine cards and things like that. So try not to look at it as an entity as, oh yeah, it's four trees on a pathway. It's so, so much more than that. And I am going to show you some lovely samples that I've managed to make. So do we have, if you do have any questions, if you don't have the newsletter, all you need to do is go to our website down 
the left hand side go right to the bottom and it says newsletter sign up you just have to pop your email in there and we just send the email links for the studio and if we've got any new products or when I'm on TV you'll get a newsletter um, and at any point if you're feeling like you're getting too many emails from stamps by me you can just unclick you can unsubscribe it's not like once you subscribe it's permanent you can untick the box and take yourself back out but it is really really good if you can because if anything comes back in stock um, we do let you know on email because I know a lot of people wait patiently for there so and if you're not getting our newsletter maybe check your junk box or your um, something else because sometimes they got spam because sometimes they get lost in the ether as well okay so tomorrow I believe I'm on at 3 45 tomorrow with the lovely Lowen and um, it's going to be 45 minutes a drive all the way there for 45 minutes to drive all the way back but it's so worth it it is so worth it and i'm pleased that i'm being given the four hours to show you what you can do with all the products so it's this lovely stamp here and let me show you some of the lovely samples that would be i have been working on so i'll just move that one aside the rna5 stamp set so let's just create a bit of space so first one i decided to just do as it is on the tin so a nice gray scale card so it looks like it's been pencil drawn nothing fancy just a landscape picture on there and I popped a little bit of glitter on there oh there we go can we see that there so it looks like a pencil sketch but if you um, tilt and maybe you'll be able to pick up that glitter on there so 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 easy great masculine card you can add color if you want to but I just want to show you how much of a sketch like it looks if you have a gray ink pad in your stash now I am going to show you the stamps on this camera the reason being is you can see on my mat here this is the piece of work that I'm going to be working on and it's causing problems with the overhead it's sort of giving you a blurred picture so we're going to do it on this one for now so you can all see exactly what the samples look like so that's the sample number one in a gray scale if you do want to purchase the stamp in craft academy all you need to do is go to our website and pop fbl into the search engine and then the academy stamps are in there um, for each week so you'll be able to see the stairs as well so the stairs are on there too there's only a few stairs left though um, and then this one has just dropped on today you'll also be able to see all the products that we use live in studio also however don't feel like you have to buy the stamp if you have a set of trees or something in your stash that you think do you know what i can skip that one i'll be able to get some trees out of my stash that i've already got please grab them and you can craft along with us we really really don't mind so that's a lovely one and then what about maybe popping some color on and then popping the trees in the background so with this one what i did was i didn't actually finish the color if you noticed i left it quite a harsh line so it would look a bit more artified and then what i did was i popped a little bit of pink in there to suggest that maybe some blossom was coming through on the tree and then i stamped the trees in black on the background just to maybe elevate it now so so simple but on this one here i just cut the stamp short i didn't do the full landscape i cut it into a square so that's a colored one and then we have this lovely one here and this is the one of the techniques that we're going to do live in show so you can see there it's heat embossed the black is heat embossed and then what we've done is i've ink blended like a sunset in on the path there and then i've mounted it onto some gold um, mirror card there so really really simple and that sentiment is adorable you are my adventure and what a great one for your partner you are my adventure you are my life so you are my adventure so that's that one and i just again uh, used my watercolor pens on that one and that one is one we're definitely going to do with the tuition with this stamp because it's not complicated but there is a little bit more about it than what meets the eye on that one <laughs> adele yours absolutely will look like that one and then what about this one so something a little bit different so again we did the bleaching the spray technique on the background there bleached it out a little bit and then I went over it with the gold so can we see that there I don't know if the camera's actually picking that one up it looks better in real life it really does I really like this one I think this has to be my favorite really really different 
Um, and we did this technique with the stairs as well, but we did tone on tone, whereas this one we did um, gold embossing on top of this one. So it looks like you're all liking the samples. And then lastly, we have a lovely coloured one here on a DL, so just part of the stamp. So you don't have to use all of the stamp. And what I did with this one was I stamped out the trees in black and then I ink blended like as if there was a light coming from the back of this tree. And then I popped some of the yellow across the bottom to make it look like maybe a, a street lamp or something was reflecting through. So you can see it's reflected onto the path there. So a little bit different. Again, a DL card. We don't do DL cards often enough, but you know, we are here to play and learn and try different techniques but I felt like this one would be perfect if you're wanting to maybe elevate your ink and your blending ideas by suggesting that there's something there but there isn't anything there. So we may do this one for the live tuition as well. So they're the samples, I hope you like them. They will be up in studio all week on here. Um, as the stairs were and then on Friday what I'll do is I'll get all the stairs out that we did um, we'll have a quick run through what samples I did and then we'll get straight into some inspiration for all the people that have bought the stamp and want to craft along with me okay so I hope you all like them we are going to do a fabulous demo now using the lovely new products uh, in tomorrow's show and um, see where it takes us something a little bit different now if you are tuning in for the first time as always you don't have to buy the products that are in the show but please still tune in and get the inspiration the inspiration is there for you and you can take the inspiration and do as you please with it basically uh, it's just a lovely place to be let's have a look have we have got any questions i'm just reading the comments on here Ooh. so i think you all like the stamp so shall we get straight into our fabulous demo? So on my mat here, I'm not going to show you it um, on overhead yet because it's sort of like um, the camera just doesn't like the black square for some reason and it's really struggling to focus on it. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you what we're going to use. So I am, you can pop it on the overhead if you wish now um, as I've covered the black square. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the lovely Lily um, layering stencil and I'll just show you on the back here and you sort of like get this effect if you use the two colours on there. So you get your solid portion and then you get your decorative element on there. So these are going to create beautiful cards. Now you can use them for home decor and you can use them for all that sort of stuff but I'm going to show you how to make them into cards. Okay? And if you'd missed my Facebook live please don't worry about it um the facebook is over on obviously my facebook page and on that facebook page i did a rundown of all the products that are in the live show tomorrow so if you do want a closer look you can see them there now i'm just being handed the lovely stamps so i'm just quickly grabbing the one i need is it here let's have a look these are so awesome let me just find the one I need. Here we go. So this is the one, I'll just pop it down here. This is the one that's um, one we're launching today. So you can see that there. Just wait till we can see that one there. There we go. So this is the one that's um, being launched today. You can see it's a really big one on the back there. Uh, you are my adventure and then the stamp on there so that's the one we're launching today and then the one that we launched last week if you are still wanting one is the beautiful stairs okay one step take a step take it step by step i knew it had steps and take it step by step and then there you can see on the reverse how gorgeous that is so these are the two we've launched so far and then we have a whole host for the rest of the 12 weeks that I will show you one by one as we go through the weeks. So, so excited. Something different. I always like um, encouragement and inspiration. As soon as I get something in my hands, I just need a bit of encouragement to go for it. And then once I go for it, there's no stopping me, basically. So let's go back to our fabulous stencil that we're going to use. So I'm just going to sit down if that's okay. And here's my lovely dish of goodies for tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we use the fabulous crackle varnish. Now I told you it was super easy and I'm going to show you 
how easy it really, really is. So we have the crackle on here. And then I'm going to go with, it's the lily, so let's, shall we do some pink? So we'll go with a lovely metallic pink. And then we'll go with maybe some white on top. Shall we go white pearl? White paste? Gesso in a sense. Uh, let's go with this th first and let's see where it takes us. Now, if you just want the stencils, you can buy the stencils. You might have the paints at home. Try them with other people's paints. They might work. You know, um, there are so many paints and things on the market and they've seen so many things on the market as well. So you will be able to just dig out what you've got in your stash. Sorry about that. I was looking at the wrong camera. That's my fault. I was just getting told off there. No, I wasn't really. So there we go. I hope you can all see me now. I am looking at you. I'm talking to you. I'm completely not being rude. So um, let's have a look, see if there's any questions. Nope. You'll have to get the stencils. These are going to look beautiful on furniture or wooden boxes. You'll see the samples tomorrow anyway. So let's crack on and do our first demonstration. So whilst I'm just laying down my um, colour first off, we're just going to stay at this camera just simply because the one overhead is blurring on there. So I have the crackle varnish here and all I'm going to do is, right, so this is just white cardstock, excuse me, traditionally with crackle and things like that, you need to prime and mess and faff and I just can't do it. It doesn't work for me for some reason. So because of that reason, I've absolutely left it alone. But when I found this, um, I sent it to Sandra on our design team and I was like, Sandra, can you help me out with this? Is this good? And she messaged me straight away and said, this is really good. The only problem is I was like, oh, she said it's in a small bottle too small and we need a bigger bottle so I'm working on it let's see how this one goes first hey I don't like to run before I can walk so I just have um, my distress brush here which is a flat headed brush but you could use your normal flat headed brush can we see that there uh, a flat headed brush you don't need one as big as this so but you will have something in your stash that works the crackle does work with watercolor yet absolutely does work with watercolour I've been playing today so you can watercolour your images on top of the crackle it's absolutely fine because the colour that you put underneath acts as like a primer so you, you are good to go so all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this brush straight into this crackle and the thicker you put the crackle the bigger the cracks you get you get okay so I'm just going to paint this piece of black cardstock all over so get lots of um, crackle on your brush, like so. You won't be able to see it at the moment though, but it, as soon as I get the colour on there, we'll change to the overhead so you can see exactly what's going on. So this is just black cardstock, okay? So it, you can do it straight onto your MDF and things like that. As long as you've got some colour or something underneath, it will all show through. So I'm getting my first layer down first. Like so. So I've just done one layer all over there. So it's gone really shiny, as you can see. What I am going to do is I'm just going to pick a little bit more up and put it thicker in some places. And that means I'll get a different texture with the cracks. Nothing fancy. Like so. Then make sure you clean your brush, albeit it is water-based and they're really easy to clean as well. Make sure you clean them, so dip them in your water and give them a good old swiss around. <laughs> they're going to be so good for your card making of these. I'm just going to get some tissue for my brush if I have some to hand. Nope, because I don't want to leave my brush in the water. I'll just get rid of that out of there. Just pop that on there. There we go. So I'm just going to blast that off with my gun. So you can let it air dry. It's already, it's pretty much drying before my eyes there already. So but to speed it up, I'm going to use my gun. It will work on a wooden frame. Whoever is asking that question, it's perfect for wood. Perfect. So I'm just um, getting my gun. I'm just helping this out a little bit. It is already drying before my eyes. So let's just see if there's any other questions.
and then I think it's because it's got low water content, sweetheart. So we stripped it right back. And it just dries really, really quickly. So less water in there. So I'm just concentrating on the thicker parts because I know they'll get some bigger cracks on that one. I always get called Dennis the Menace when I wear this jumper. I'm not good all the time, you know, I am a menace sometimes. Does anybody know the name of the art that um, you used to see on like furniture and it used to be white and it had cracks all over it and then you'd get a detailed rose in the corner or there was there a specific name for that type of, was it folk art or something like that? <laughs> Tony makes us all poor but very happy. Oh bless you. I think it was folk art, wasn't it? So this is nearly done. I'm just concentrating on the thicker parts here where I put it thick because then I'll get some nice big cracks in there. Nearly done. It is good to tape it down as well because your card will just sort of like want to cockle really, really badly. I think we're good to go there. So let's just make sure it's all stuck down. So what? Uh, Oh, it's still a little bit wet there. So basically, it does give like a shiny-ish finish, but when you touch it, it's actually dry. So I've got some matte areas and I've got some shiny areas. Now, what that suggests is it's the thickness of the ingredient you put down. So do feel it with your fingers. That seems all right, but that is just a little bit tacky there. And I know if I put my paint on, it's going to drag it. So I'm just going to concentrate on this little piece here. Don't want to get too close because it probably will burn it actually. Right, so I'll leave that one now. No, so it's a piece of black cardstock. I haven't painted it. No, you don't have to put an undercoat on, it's just a piece of black cardstock. And this is what I was saying about perfect for your card making. You know, you don't have to do layers of paint and loads of. Um, varnish and then layers in between to get it just get your black cardstock tape it down um, put your crack on crackle varnish on and then put your color over the top and basically as soon as i put the color on top the cracks you'll be able to see it um actually overhead because as soon as i start putting the color out we'll transfer it over because it's not a black um, piece that's gonna sort of blur just make sure that is dry because i don't I need to get through this demo. I don't want to do it so it looks an ugly mess. I want you to see how pretty it can be. So let me just um, dry this brush off. Just one second. Here we go. And then I have the lovely stencil. So the paint's not special. Um, so this is called the acrylic paste is this one. Okay, and basically it's a paste where you can mix your glitters so you can do it through your stencil so you can have glittery paste if you want to. Or you can use it as a traditional gesso as well. So the consistency is a little bit thicker than paint, but it's thin enough to add glitter and embellishments to put it through your stencil. So it serves two purposes, but no, it's not special and any paint over here will be absolutely fine. 
the design team have had the best results ever with this. So, so cool. So let's get this colour on. Does it smell like varnish? Let's have a smell. I, have, I am not a smeller, although I do like to smell papers. Let's have a look, Enid. It has actually quite a nice smell. It smells like marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. It smells like a jam. Don't eat it. Do not eat it. But it does smell quite um, delicious. Let's have a smell of this one. That smells like paint. That smells like I'm painting my room. But it's not overwhelming. But it does have an odour. So Tina, it doesn't have to be heated, you can leave it to air dry and if I was doing this, which I have done some for TV, I left them to air dry. I've just sped that up with my gun. So let's get this colour on here and let's show you how exciting it is. So the van, they want to see the varnish, there we go, can you see that there? This is a 50ml jar, so you can see there, probably not as big as we need, but let's just test the water with these new products, hey. I don't want to be left with a warehouse full of stuff if people are not going to like it. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, cr Denise, crackle has been the bane of my life, honestly. But now it's easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this white, if you want to call it gesso or white paint, whatever you've got in your stash. And as soon as I get some of this on here, watch what happens. I'm just getting a nice... So... I'll try and get it covered quickly so we can go to the overhead as quick as we can. I probably will not have to heat set this one because the cracks are coming. I don't know if anybody else can see that, but the cracks are already <laughs> not letting me get the paint on quick enough. There we go. Right. Just sit and watch. Let's blow on it. Oh, don't do what I just did there and retouch it because it doesn't like it. I'll clean my brush. So, yep, yeah, I'm just going to say if Tim wants to zoom in. That's it. Can we see them there? So you can speed it up with your gun, but I am just going to leave it for a second. Let it do its thing to show you that the cracks are there. How cool is that? You can imagine how much I was smiling, can't you, when I was testing these products when I realised that I can actually get good cracks. Look at them. How cool is that? I'm just cleaning my brush off here while that's cracking its way. Looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? Wow, that's the best. Yay! So happy, so happy. It makes me happy when you've got a product that works. It really does really really good they're getting bigger and you can see why here where i did it a little bit thicker a little bit here and some down here didn't i where i put the paste uh, the varnish on just a little bit thicker um and it's sort of giving you that it does look like wood now if you've got your gilding waxes and things like that you can get it on your finger and rub it into the cracks and but i'm just going to make a card but just think about what you can do beyond card making and I love anything on a card that's going to make me look like I'm clever so that's why I love watercolour cards and stamps that help me do that stencils that help me do that for Carol can you use gesso for the second coat do you mean when you on top of the varnish is that what you mean sweetheart so I think if I put another coat on there, I don't know what would happen, I've not tried it. But the first coat, you can put gesso on, it'll work, yes. I have been told it works really well with chalk paints. The design team have said the chalk paints really, really work. A lot of design team members, oh, there you go, Heather. Heather's already just said their chalk paint works miraculously well as well. So a lot of the ladies that are watching are on the design team, so if you ask any questions, they've been playing with it for weeks now done an absolutely knockout job so i'm just going to blast this off with my gun now you've all seen the cracks just to make sure it's absolutely dry and it is i think it's 
it is pretty much dry. I'm just going to help it a little bit. If you add another colour on top, would it fall into the cracks? I don't know. I know one thing for certain, and I'll tell you in a second. One thing for absolute certain, if you get your metallic paints, these paints here, um, and do what Sandra did on her sam finished sample, the one that I had here yesterday, so go back and watch the show, dry brushed it over, it picks up all the pigment out of the metallic and it looks really, really effective. Um, people are losing sound. Are we okay for sound over there? Just check for you. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our lovely stencil. Yep. Carol, the gesso I think will work. I think, um, yep, gesso works. Karen's saying it works. If Karen says it works, it works. So, um, let's have a look what we've got going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a beautiful pattern around here creeping around this corner with our lovely stencil I'm not going to remove any of this mess because I'm going to trim it down and tidy it up and we'll get it on a card for a lovely winner so when you come to stencil through your stencils what I found is you can use your traditional your brushes but these ones are the soft hair and really don't like the stodgy paint they like your inks but they're not a fan of stodgy paint uh, trust me I tried it so what I did was I dug out some of my old sponge daubers. These nearly went in bin, you know, when I did my brushes because these were so retired. But I'm so pleased I kept them. So you can punch the ink through your stencil like that. Or if you've got something like one of our earlier um, sponge ones as well, you can sponge through. Or your finger daubers. We did those as well for a long time. You can punch through with your fingers as well. So if you are joining the show and you are a little bit late, please don't worry. You can just click rewind and go back to the beginning. You don't miss anything. And it goes straight onto YouTube after the live show as well. So it's always going to be there for you. Right. So let's have some fun. Let's use the pretty pink. It is a lily. So pretty pink. And then I might just go back over with the white. The great thing about this is if you put a colour on and you don't like it, you can go back over. As long as it's not like a black or something like that, you can go back over with a colour that you do actually like. So, which makeup sponges work? I don't know, sweetheart. I haven't used a makeup sponge. Can anybody help that one with Amanda? So, let's use the pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the pink. Whoop, I'm going to pop the pink on first. Now I'm just going to grab a block here because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the excess paint off my sponge onto my block to make sure I don't get like a splodgy feel on there. So there we go. Make sure that's not sticking. So let's creep this around this lovely corner here. So you can tape it down if you want to. I'm not being over precious about it because I do like the loose vintage sort of style look. But if you do like crisp lines, you might want to think about taping it down. Just make sure your layer underneath is absolutely dry because when you take tape off, you might ruin your work underneath. So let's get some of this pink onto this acrylic block here. I'll just pull it into shot here so you can see. Can we see that there? It's just so I don't get nasty blobs in on my artwork here. And when I put it through the stencil, I always pounce up and down and then it, it sort of like takes away a chance of it going under the stencil. So I'm just going to pounce on top all the way through here. So lots of light pouncing. And if you lay down the first layer of colour, I like the fact that I can see the cracks through, but if you lay down the first layer of colour and you're thinking, I want it brighter, you can always go back and add that second layer. Just dry it through each layer. Okay, so I'm just pouncing. like so and this is going to look so pretty just get rid of that paint from there so pounds up and down up down up down up down like so and 
and then just colour cover the whole of the image. If you want to be a little bit more arty, a bit a li little bit more um, playful, all you have to do maybe is swap the pink for the green when you do your leaves. I'm doing it all one colour just to show you the concept today. But there are leaves in here, so if you did want to swap your colours out, the pink on the flowers and the green on the leaves, you could absolutely do that. So I've got some nice coverage down there. You can always pick up a little bit more colour in some of the areas where it's lacking a little bit. If you, could, if you haven't got this sort of thing that goes into the ink, you just tip a little bit onto your mat. It's water-based, so it'll wash straight off. Even when it's dry, it'll wash off. It's drying, it's drying already, so, and it's probably the lights in here, to be fair like so. So let's just move this one out of the way. So I'm just going to clean my block because I need it for my next colour. And then I'll just clean my sponge on this little wipe here too. Yeah, if you found something that works, Margaret, that's really good. I like it when people find things that work. Things don't have to be expensive. If we can help it anyway. So I've cleaned my sponge there. So let's just take this one off and you'll see I have a pretty pink, hopefully, pretty pink silhouette. Oh no. So my, my um, crackle wasn't quite dry underneath and it's pulled some of it off. So just you make sure yours is perfectly dry, okay guys? So. Let me just blast that one off with my gun. It might add to the feel of it all in the end. So I'll just dry that off. It is practically dry anyway, I can see it. So it's already coming together. So the brush that I just used there, we did sell them a long time ago. Um, and we sort of like, we sort of like retired them as soon as we, excuse me, as soon as we found this sort, this brush, the best on the market, I might say. Um, so I sort of like retired that one, um, but now, use it, given how I'm using it now, we might get them again. So you'll have to watch this space on this one. So let's move on to our next layer. In fact, can I just make, try and blast this off a little bit more? Because I really don't want to pull my crackle off. I really thought it was dry. Hopefully I won't pull any more off. Fingers crossed, okay. And it's good that these things happen to me because you are only human at home as well and it will probably happen to you and you'll be saying it never happens to Tony, but it does. It always happens to me, let me tell you. So I've just cleaned the back of that stencil there because I don't want that um, paint to dry on the back because they're my favourite stencils. Right, let's move on to our next layer then. So your next one is where your detail is going to come into... Um, light. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to line the stencil back up. Now if you don't line it up straight, don't worry about it, it will cast a shadow and that looks beautiful as well. So if you're thinking, oh I, ca I can't line stencils up, I don't know what I'm doing, um, twist that round like until I'm happy. A bit more to the left, like so, there we go. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go back over with the white not sure how this is going to look, but I'm happy to try. It is a piece of card at the end of the day. So let's pick up some of the white. So I'm just going to pop it on my mat onto the acrylic block here. And then I'm just going to pounce through gently. Take your time with it. Enjoy it. There is no rush. There's no race. And I think if you do take your time, the results are better. I'm just hoping this just isn't going to tear my artwork when I lift it up again. I did try and blast it off to make sure it was dry. And this is going to push it completely back, you know, because we've got the white underlay on the cracks at the back. It's going to sort of like push it completely back, but you're going to have like a bit of a white tone. 
go really pretty, I think. We will see. Pounce, pounce, pounce all the way through. It's literally drying as I'm doing it, so which is great really, isn't it? Because if you're anything like me as a crafter, patience is just not something we have. It's not a gift us crafters have, is it? So canvas and frames, yeah, it would look stunning. So if you lift it up, don't pull my artwork off. There we go. Can we see that there? How pretty is that? And this has gone underneath, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but hey ho, let me just clean that one off. Because it's got caught on there, look. But you can see where, where we're going with that, can't you? So this area here needs a little bit more work to get those centres in there. But you can see how, you know, the two parts create something quite pretty. Now, looking at it as it is taped down there on the table, it looks quite ugly still in my opinion, but it's not until you come to put your card together. So I always encourage you, if you start a card, do take it to the very end. Don't think that looks absolutely rubbish that it's going in the bin. Please don't do that because some of my best cards and some of the design team members' cards are the best cards because they've um, done them and right to the end, okay? So let's just dry this one off. I'm not gonna be disheartened by it. I'm gonna continue on. So let's get rid of our awful mask around here, just make sure my hands are clean. And just gently pull off so you don't tear your card. And I am going to trim it down anyway, so if it does tear my card, you know, I'm not overly concerned about it. It's not the end of the world. Sometimes you see it tears your card with the heat from your gun. Just take your time. And always pull your tape away from your artwork, never towards. Then if it does tear, it pulls your artwork away and we can always rectify it with the world's biggest butterfly or something, can't we? So I'll just hold this one up so you can see there. If it had not pulled my artwork off there, um, I would have a pretty piece of awesome work there, wouldn't I? So let's trim this one down a little bit and let's get it on a card. And that's where you're going to see that by sticking it out, sticking it out right to the very end is going to be worth it. So I'm just popping this in my gelatine and I'm just taking a sliver. I am still going to leave a little bit of the black, hopefully. Yep, I have got my gold. Trying not to... Um, press it hard in my guillotine because I really do not want my craft to get caught up again just in case I haven't dried it in some of the areas. But let me just so um, so that whoever it was ask, was asking earlier, this has got crackle on. Can we see that there? That's got crackle on. That's ready for my TV show tomorrow. So I just painted a layer of crackle on there. Uh, black cardstock. So it's ready to go tomorrow. So tomorrow, hopefully, because I've done the varnish before going to air, it won't pull my work off. So better demos tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> we could cover on, cover it with a little butterfly. Oh, I need that. If we wanted to, but I'm just going to go with it. And then this one, I'm going to mount onto some gold. So I'm just popping this onto this gold here. Let's just see if I can not waste my mirror card. I'll go that way. And I'll just pop a little mark where I need to cut it. So you could experiment with your colours. You know, I stenciled through in just a pink. You can do the pinks, the greens. There's beautiful orange tones in there. 
as well you've got your sprays you can spray through you don't have to paint through so much for you to go at so much to play with really so i'm just going to stick this one onto this gold mirror here like so We'll mount this onto our gold. It looks like I need to take a little slither off the base of there. Just give it a second to grab. So I just need to take a little bit off the bottom there. Just give it a second to dry. I wonder if Karen, is Karen still there? Karen, would I be able to paint the white back in on there? Or would it get ruined? Or Sandra? Anybody? Just to get rid of that black, is anybody going to answer? I don't think so. Shall I just paint it back in? Shall I go for it? I'm going to go for it. Probably get in trouble. I think it would work, Elaine. You are now the queen of mixed media, so I'm going for it. I'm getting my white. Is it working? I think when it dries, it'll dry whiter, won't it? Let's just go for it, hey. It's just distracting me and it's upsetting me a little bit. There we go. I'll let that dry naturally and hopefully it'll go white. If it doesn't, it's not a problem. Let's just clean my brush. So let's just trim the base of here and get it onto a card. I've got a lovely sentiment from one of the new stamps. There we go. Let's just um, blast this off and just see if that colour's going to change. It's not, is it? Is it? a yellowy colour. That was food for thought is that one. But anyway. There we go. So let's get our top folding note card here. So you can already see. Can you see where this one's going? That's gone yellow now. Why would that have happened? So I've got my sentiment here. I'm just popping a pad behind. I'm going to pop some pads behind the main focal point of the card too. I've found some more pads in my stash. These are thin ones though. Yeah, I was just thinking, why is it yellow, Karen? Why is that? Why is it gone like that? And it was the same. I did use the white acrylic, didn't I? Why is it gone yellow? Oh, did I have yellow on my brush? Oh, dear. <laughs> Karen, it's gone yellow because I had yellow on my brush. <laughs> was there some colour on your brush? There was yellow on my brush. Oh, I will learn one of these days. That means then... If I get a clean brush and go over it, it will disappear. Is that right? <laughs> hey, what a day, hey? As long as we're all still smiling, that is all that matters. Absolutely, it's a card. I'm not going to be over precious about it, as you all know. Absolutely not. I know you're given the time at home to play and enjoy it and whatever you make. If it puts a smile on your face or the recipient's face, my job is done. Absolutely done. I won't be doing that tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll just stand up and I'll just mount this one into the centre of this card here. I'm going to make that white for the photo. So somebody might want to win it now if I cover that awful yellow. 
And then what I did was I have the word beautiful, which I've cut on an angle. Can we see that there? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it at the top, but I'm going to uh, do it off to the side here so it's um, in line with the outside piece of our card. And I'm going to hide that little smudge as well, which I did, if it allows me to. I'm going to take it right to that very edge, as straight as possible. There we go. Ignore my awful yellow smudges. Let's, let's show you at the front. There we go. It would be really pretty with some, I wish I had some, um, the wax, you know what, you pop your finger in the wax and, and, and swiss it on there. But yeah, oh, thank goodness that's over. It seemed to go wrong from the start, but hey ho, I'm happy with it in the end. I hope you guys like it too. And I just wanted to show you that the cracks, you all saw it with your very own eyes, it works in front of your eyes. You do not have to treat, layer, understand. Just put it on and put some colour on top and it starts to crack before your very eyes. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you so much if you did tune in. If you missed the beginning of the show, we did um, launch the second stamp in our Craft Academy. The first stamp has been sent out and you can still order the first stamp. If you order the second stamp and want the first stamp, we'll pop them in the same envelope because the second stamps are getting sent tomorrow. And then on Friday, the inspiration for the step take it step by step um, is on Friday and it will be early in the morning as I have a four day deal on the afternoon stroke evening over on Create and Craft. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. Um, please do join me on the Craft Academy whether you're buying the stamp or not it really really doesn't matter. The more people we have the more inspiration we get from each other. So whatever you're doing stay safe, stay, stay cosy, enjoy yourselves whether that be crafting or not, eating maybe. Just enjoy yourself. I'll see you all Friday. Take care, everyone. Bye.